what's going on. Ah, so we've got the villa game today. You know what's annoying is that in this last little piece of the running, we've got to play ahead of City twice. And literally, we can still be behind. Normally, it's an advantage when you play first. Um, but with that disgraceful Newcastle result on Sunday, it's like we're going to have to pepper Villa and then hope that Man City lose with a bit of a um, goal swing at the same time. So, not the most confident that that's going to happen. But um, we are where we are. Like I said to you, my disappointment levels are not actually that high. I took, if you look at where we were in December, Man City should already be parading around as champions. We've pushed them. Not Chelsea, not Arsenal, not Spurs. We've pushed them. So at the end of the day, I hear a lot of men say there's no prizes for second place. I hear a lot of men like, oh yeah, but we didn't win it. But you know what? I just don't, I don't understand that mindset when you're looking at a team game where realistically, yes, only one team could be champions, but you're trying to tell me you don't enjoy the rest of the season because you don't come first. There's a big difference between having a winner's mentality to try and win something and then looking at things from a realistic point of view. And the thing is with certain fans, I think we forget our, not me, <laughs> but certain fans I think we forget our place in the game. We're not the players. So when certain men are like, it's not good enough that we come second, rare, rare, rare. I don't understand your mentality when we don't have the spending budget of Chelsea and Man City and Man United. Where we're not buying players at a premium. We're not selecting the players that we want at the times we want all the time. We're searching for bargains all the time. We're bringing people through the academy all the time. I don't get that level of expectation. I honestly don't. But you know what I mean? But I'm a different kind of fan, I keep telling you. I'm not the same as enough of the men out here. Enough of the men out here. I don't know what, you, what, set, what standards you lot set in your personal lives as well, but I feel like if that's how you lot measure everything, I feel sorry for you because it means you don't enjoy nothing. You know what I mean? It's a madness. You know what I mean? End of the day, you got to look at, if you're looking at things from a realistic point of view, not emotional, not romantic. We should always be competing with Spurs and Everton, technically, in terms of our spending power, not the credibility and the history of the club, in terms of the spending power that we've got and how we have to negotiate. Instead, we're fighting with the, the spending elite. Chelsea, Man City, Man United, who pick up players at 80, 90 million per season, not... not when we, when we sell our star player and then we can get um, Van Dyke and um, Alisson. You know I mean? I've never seen Man United sell a star player to bring in another player. I've never seen Chelsea sell a star player to bring in another player. I've never seen Man City in the recent years sell a player to get a star player. And yet, our fans are, are judging us with the same criteria. It is absolutely madness. Absolute madness. I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. You know? So, for me, my expectations are, are real. I'm looking at this Villa game now. I am disappointed that even if we win tonight, we don't technically go top unless we give them a hammering. Um, but, like I said to you, three finals, and we literally can level up on points tonight. And then the pressure's on City. The pressure's on City. Let's see what they can do. But, um, yeah, I think this game's going to be tricky. I don't think it's going to be easy at all. And the irony is, you can't really take what happens in this result in relation to the game that we have, that, that City will have with them. You can't, you, can't, you can't really look at that because we could play them tonight, have a tricky, tricky, tricky game. And then they literally could fold. Man, when Man City play them and Man City go on to win the title or we could pepper them tonight which is what I hope Man City turn up there thinking well if they did it we did it we'll do it and literally they could get clipped on the last game 
We're not even lose, but might not win it. And we take the title. We really don't know what's going to happen between the two teams that both of us have to play, Wolves and Villa, and how we do. Because whoever comes out better of those games, I think wins it. Whoever has the better record. I think as much as I love West Ham to turn them over, I'm not sure that's going to work or happen. Because Man City normally go to the Etihad and score fours and fives. Um, sorry, to Upton Park. I think the game's at maybe Upton Park. The London Stadium. I think it's there. I think it's there. I'm not even sure. But whether whatever way around it is, West Ham normally gets smoked. So I'm not relying on that result. But Villa is unpredictable. And Wolves have turned them over before. So those are the games I'm looking at. But let us... Let us see what happens. I think tonight, I think we win it. I think it'll be 2-1. Um, not sure on the scorers, but I think we'll do it. So um, let me know your comments. Let me know what you think is going to happen in this game. Are we going to take it? Or is tonight going to be curtains, basically, for our title push? Let me know below.